goal that next year will be Manchester United have found their ideal Chuan Mata and Jesse Lingard replacement. Eyebrows were raised when Manchester United's interest in Christian Eriksen for speed camp apparent this summer. You could understand why some supporters didn't see the scenes in it. Eriksen's recent history is complicated and United have been intertwined with a player for a few years without him ever actually coming close to an old Trafford move. In his Tottenham days, Ericsson was among the Premier League's most coveted talents. A genuine game-changing playmaker how United admired from afar. Had Mauricio Pochettino made the move to Manchester in 2019, Ericsson might have joined his former Spurs boss at United. Instead, a year later, he joined ex Reds from Lukaku, Ashley Young and Alexis Sanchez and Antonio Conte's lockdown in the Milan squad, which was quickly becoming a Serie reimagining of the Premier League. 2014 to 18 Elliot Conte's theory that the former stars of the English top flight could thrive in Italy a few years down the line was proven right in the cases of Lukaku and Sanchez, who brought made contributions and wrote to indoor scudetto of 2020 21. And although Derrickson contributed in 18 months in Milan, he struggled for long stretch and many deemed him a player in decline by the time Euro 2021 rolled around. Everyone knows what happened next to Erickson as the player suffered a cardiac arrest on the pitch while playing for a Denmark at the tournament. His life was miraculously saved. The football world stood still and prayed for his recovery. Few expected him to ever play the game again, let alone predicted what happened next. Never mind recovering from the ordeal, Everson found himself playing top level Premier League football again within eight months, signing for Brentford on a short term deal and playing a major part in keeping the Bills away from the league agent. One of the defining images of the 2021 22 campaigns was the side of United One and Brandon Williams, playing four weeks against Brentford, having been wrestled to the ground by an opposing player, getting up to respond uh, answerly, only to see it was Eric Sand, but Ball's new favorite son, Williams, hugged him heartily instead. But it's for footballing reasons that United don't know Kent on signing Harrison. As free transfer go, this will be a very handy one. He is still only 30 and international superstar posting more than 100 caps and a proven Premier League star as well, having been named in the PFR team of the year as recently as 2018. That was questioning United's interest point to the fact that Bruno Fernandes is the incumbent in Ericsson's preferred number 10 role, with Tony Van der Beek as backup. But signing Ericsson for nothing is an opportunity in United post Ericsson Hawk can't ill afford to turn down. He needs to pack his squad with technically adept footballers who are staying his way of playing. Ericsson to form magic players and a natural ball player fits the bill. United have also seen Chuan Mata, the selling art, Edinson Cavani, the Majority and Paul Papa depart this summer. And while Frankie Taeyong is a major target to fill one of those midfield birds, another reject player seen Antonis of interest in the forwards positions, Ericsson will be the ideal Mata and or Lingard replacement. Neither were a regular starter for United in recent season, but they overtaking quality and versatility of the bench. 
and were popular squad members. Erickson would certainly be popular with his peers at Carrington. He'd probably accept a slightly lesser role given his health issues and would give United squad that extra scene. That added depth it looks to be lacking after Samurai series. This is very much a sign for the here and now burnt out of necessity rather than a sentimentality.